Hello and welcome to another Aggie's Beers, Wines and Spirits review. Obviously, it's Christmas beer season. So, second beer review of the night. It's actually my third review, but uh, that's otherwise. Um, from Y Valley Brewery, who make beers such as Buttyback. I can't remember any of us, but Buttyback for certain. B-A-C-H, back. Eskimo's Kiss, 4.5. 4% uh, a warming winter ale on the back it says this warming multi winter brew as a biscuit base from extra pale Maris Otter Munich amber and crystal malts a balanced bitter finish follows with Olicana a new variety of Herefordshire famous for cider grown harp delivering the flavours and aromas of mango and passion fruit. Wow. So a fruity, you know, uh, like a tropical fruit winter beer. Okay, this is interesting. God, yeah. I've, only had two, uh, I've had two bottles tonight and I'm feeling it already. I mean, I'm drunk, I'm just feeling it. So, more of a lighter Christmas beer, as you can see. Similar to like your Brudolph sort of beer. Now I've got to be honest. I slated Brudolph last year. I didn't agree with the golden beer. But this year, clean slate. I'll go at it again to see how it looks. So, fantastic carbonation and lacing on there. Look at that. All that CO2 that's in the beer all going up. I presume it's CO2, you know, all that stuff you don't want in your belly. Sometimes it's better to let it just, you know, let it air for a bit, let, it, let all that disappear. Uh, Whitehead, quite an, an amber pour, shall we say, on the nose. To be fair, the passion fruits in the background on the nose. It, it is there, but it's very much in the background. Right, let's give it a taste. So, unlike the traditional darker beers you see at Christmas, this is like a, um, a lighter, summery version of a winter beer, which isn't a bad thing, you know. Um, I've had to change my mind about Brudolph. I will be re-reviewing -re it very soon. I want to try and get all the Christmas beers done and dusted before Christmas. You know, we don't want any stragglers. And really, I want to get them reviewed before, before that, because obviously, on the run up to Christmas, you know, these beers are only out for a short amount of time. So it's a good thing to get them and get them reviewed nice and early so people can look at reviews and think, I might, I might want to taste that, you know. And as a beer fan, you know, if it tastes good to me and I'm honest in my reviews, I don't, you know, I don't lie about what tastes good or not, you know. You know, if it tastes crap, I'll say it tastes crap. Always try to be positive. You know, there's got to be a positive aspect to all what you're drinking, you know, uh, to see the good. You know, both in people and what you drink. Although sometimes in people it's hard to see the good, you know. Some people just... So yeah, you can definitely pick up the mango and passion fruit in notes. It's not strong. You know, it's not where, you know, it's at the front and it's like a, like an IPA where mango, if this was a mango and passion fruit IPA, it'd be all about that. It's not. The the malts are there and they're in the background, you know. You can taste them, but it's not too much, you know. So say if you're a golden beer fan, but you want to drink um, a Christmassy beer, Eskimo's Kiss, I would say that's, you know, a, a very good... Um, beer to trial. Same as if you're a lager fan and you want to step into these 
darker waters, shall we say, Christmassy waters. Um, again, you know, a very interesting beer to try. Very gassy, just like lagers are, you know. Uh, massive carbonation on that. And like all beers, you know, some beers you'll you'll drink straight away, and you know you can get the taste straight away. Other beers you have to cleanse your palate, and you'll get halfway down the the glass before it really hits you the taste, you know. And then those sorts of beers you want to be drinking two or three pints of. This fella's definitely. The latter, you know, it's one of them that grows on you, rather than straight away. I'll give you, an, I'll give you one straight away. Saddlers do a Christmas pudding stout. From the moment that touches your lips, you know that you're drinking something very, very different, very strong, very complex, and uh, and uh, good out, good alcohol content. This it's more of a slow burner. Starts off. Um, it's, it, at the moment, it's just cleansing my palate. By the time I get to the end, that will be the really interesting part of it. Although it is gassy, you know, I can feel it. I could let out the biggest burp, but obviously, that'll... people would think I was rude, you know, and uh, I'm not rude. So. One month exactly till Christmas. Wow, how fast is it coming? Um, I've been in my new job now, close to four months already. And uh, after the first month, I didn't think I'd be stopping, you know. And it's at work four months, and uh, me and the person that I was struggling with, uh, well, actually got a camaraderie going now and uh, with the addition of one person who's very who I'm very loyal to you know from ex-council days and uh, strange isn't it you know sometimes a job you've got to give that job a chance for it to shine on you you know and uh, like with all jobs you know you move jobs and if you're already in a, a fairly decent job you move a job because you've seen something that ticks your boxes. As I did with this job, you know, it ticked the boxes close to home. Uh, the hours were okay to a point. The money was okay. The job was interesting, you know, and uh, there's lots of elements. Some of it has not been as good as what I thought it would be, but hey oh, you know, eventually, if once my. Um, personality is taken in and appreciated and they understand where I am you know the, the person I am the you know and you know it all makes a difference so you know this is me saying to people out there you know that are looking at jobs because none of us are 100% happy in our jobs especially if you're doing a job where you feel like you're, you're not getting any credit you know you're not enjoying your job. You've got to enjoy your job. And uh, life's too short to be in a job where you dread going every single day. You go in just because of the money. Money's not important, you know. Pays bills, obviously. But in the long run, you know, be moving somewhere else. You know, and moving to a profession that you actually like doing. I'm lucky because I'm in that profession, you know. Always wanted to be a gardener, always liked being a gardener. But there's people out there who do jobs and they bloody hate what they're doing, you know. I know a lot of people in retail, that retail was a lovely job, you know. But over the years, they've cut it to the bone and people are running around like idiots trying to get the work done. And yet you've still got the same managers doing bugger all and then slagging off these workers. And I've seen it, I've seen it in my old job, you know. And unfortunately, I see the same managers, and you think to yourself, why haven't they got rid of these idiots? You know, a good manager is in with the workforce, blends with the workforce, works together for the, for the goal, you know, understands that 
there are personalities out there, you know. And uh, sadly, not a lot. Of, there's not a lot of great managers out there. Treat the staff as you want to be treated. Treat the staff in a way where they enjoy work, love working for you. Then the productivity will go up. Because whenever anybody's happy in a job, they will flourish, you know. Somebody who goes to a job, one minute after they get there saying, oh God, I can't wait for hometown. You know, as an employee, employer, you're failing that employee. Obviously, not all employees are great, you know, there's some, there's some out there that don't deserve to be in that role. But the vast majority are decent people. And I'm only 48, I took like a bloody old man. But 48, I've seen a lot in life, unfortunately. You know, way too much, you know. And I've, seen a lot of, I've seen a lot by the age of 16 that, you know, um, that you wouldn't want anybody to see, you know. And uh, it's been a funny old life. Thank God that I treat my kids and family, my little family, you know, we're all pretty decent, you know. And as a as a family unit, by God, are we a you know strong unit together? We moan and whinge each other, but you try and start any rubbish with us, and uh, wow, you'll be in trouble. Right, so this definitely an introductory uh, Christmassy beer, very similar to the likes of Brewdolph in that respect from Richwood. Whilst not being my type of Christmas beer, I understand and uh, the, the evolving of Christmas beers into um, a beer that, for me Christmas beers are all, all about dark beers, that's the way I perceive Christmas beers, because the vast majority are dark beers, but obviously to appease to the, to the masses, you know, you can't have all dark beers. Hence why this, you know, is an interesting beer for, for people from the lager background, from a golden and pale ale background, you know, to say, yeah, I've drunk some Christmas beers, you know, and then maybe go a bit further and drink some of the stronger Christmas beers, you know, all interesting in the long run. So, Amber Poor. White head, fruit on the nose, bit of licorice on the taste, fruity on the taste as well. Um, the mango and passion fruit, certainly there, not so much on the aroma, very light on the aroma. I did say licorice, I got the wrong bloody review there. <coughs> that was the last review, that's what you get for drinking two on the road. Um, Mango and passion fruit on the taste, but it's in the background. So don't be worried if you read and it says mango and passion fruit, and think, oh God, I don't want to try that. Not really into that. It's only in the background, you know. It's it's a very pleasant tasting Christmas beer. Out of five. Um, for me, yeah, it was a nice beer, you know, something different to try. Um, it's one of them for me that once I've tried it once, I'll, you know, I'll have me share, you know. Um, out of five then, Oof, gets harder, you know, sometimes with these numbers, it really does get hard. Did I like it? Yes. Um, out of five, 3.8 out of five. Yeah, it was a nice enough beer. Right. Thanks for the review. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. And uh, see you soon.